How's it going guys? My name's Slip and today I'm going to show you how you can play Black Ops 3 safely on PC on Steam in 2024. Now I made a video previously going over the topics I'm going to mention in today's video but since then there's been a new update so I'm going to go over the install because it's a little different so I don't want anyone getting confused and I also wanted to clear up some questions that people might have regarding the mod. If you want to see more about that stick around till later on in the video but for now we're going to go into the install guide, so if you want to open your browser, whatever browser you choose, it doesn't really matter. You want to open it up and you want to go to Google and just type T7 patch into the search bar just like that. Hit enter and it's going to be this top link right here where it says Shiversoft Dev T7 patch. Um, I think my camera is probably covering it right now, but you just want to click on the link I'm going to put in the description. Just, just make sure the GitHub link says Shiversoft Dev right here in the corner and then come down here to releases, click on 2.03, and if you have a Linux or a Mac computer, you can follow these tutorials that show up, you click these links, but we're going to do the Windows tutorial today. So you just want to come down here, click on the T7 Windows only zip, download that, and then when that's done downloading, you just want to open it up and move this over to the side. Now we want to open Steam, and from here you want to right click on Black Ops 3, go down to Manage, go to Browse Local Files, and now we're in the Black Ops 3 folder. All you want to do here is grab everything in this folder. So I'm going to control A. I'm just going to move it all into here. And that's it. That's the install complete for the mod. Then all you want to do is open the T7 patch. This is going to pop up. This pops up every single time. Don't worry. It's not a virus or anything. It's just because it's a unknown publisher and Windows always detects unknown publishers as viruses. It's just like a firewall thing, just in case your computer doesn't want you downloading things. It's going to destroy your computer. So just hit run anyway. Here we are, T7 patch 2.03. We can just close out all this. So you want to change your name to whatever you want. You can literally make it anything. And then your password, you also want to make it whatever you want. I'm going to do my password that I do normally. And then you want to turn on friends only just to make sure you have that added layer of security as well. Um, if you are playing in a game with multiple people, if you are the host, you have to make sure you have everyone in your game added as a friend on Steam or else it won't work if you have friends only turned on. I found this out the hard way, so if you just want to play normally with some people you don't play with regularly, turn off friends only so your games will work, okay? So from here, the patch is working, it's set up fine, so if we go up here and run Black Ops 3, it's going to say an error occurred. It usually says an error occurred. That always happens on the first run. So just give it a second. Be patient while Black Ops 3 launches. And as soon as it launches, this is going to turn into a protected process with ID, blah, blah, blah. So that's how you know the mod's working. Another way you can check to make sure if it's working is if up in the top right over here, it says patch 2.03. If all of these things are showing up, you did it correctly. Good job. You now have the T7 patch. And now you're going to play with better FPS overall. You are protected from being booted offline. You're protected from getting your IP snatched unless they're in your game, of course. I recommend also running a VPN while you play if you're playing public games, but that's just if you're playing public games solo, you don't have to worry about that. Lastly, I've been asked a lot if you're going to get viruses for playing Black Ops 3 and the answer is no. Activision pushed a patch a couple months ago, I think last year, that made it so malware cannot be injected into your computer anymore, neither can like Trojans and stuff, so the viruses don't exist anymore, you don't have to worry about that, it's just getting your IP address snatched and getting booted offline, those are the worst things that can happen if you don't run the patch. Even if you run the patch, you still run the risk of getting your IP grabbed if you're in the lobby with somebody, other than that, you should be perfectly safe from all other sorts of attacks. Now, if you have connectivity issues like me and my friends typically have, because I live in Alaska, I'm like 3,000 miles away from even California, so I'm very far away from everybody, and we have a lot of connectivity issues. And what we use to fix that is Radman VPN. It's a free VPN. You don't have to worry about paying or anything. So you just want to go up to your search bar and type Radman VPN. It'll be the first thing that pops up. You just want to click on this. Click free download right here. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to go through the download process. But obviously you hit download, you save it to your desktop and you run it one time. And once you run it, you should be able to open it. I already have it all set up, but when you start it up, you're going to hit network. You're going to hit create network and you are going to name it whatever you want to name it. It doesn't matter, but you are going to have to share this name with your friends and whoever else you want to join. Same with the password. 
doesn't matter what it is, just make it something you'll remember and that you and your friends know. And then from there, you just all type in the same thing. You go up to network, join network. You just type in the information and you join it. And just like that, I have three friends in my network already and they can join me at any time on Black Ops 3 and it works fine. As long as this says on, you turn it on just by pressing the button. So as long as it says on, you're good and you're ready to play. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this super simple tutorial on how to do the T7 patch in 2024. I hope you all have a great time playing Black Ops 3. It's always on sale. And if it's not on sale, you can check websites like G2A and G2G. I hope this cleared up a lot of questions you guys might have had. I know it wasn't perfectly concise, but it's very easy to install. Again, a couple things you might want to know. There is no security threats when playing Black Ops 3 anymore. All of the RCEs have been patched out. There's no chance to get malware anymore. You're okay. So don't worry about that. Also, if you're playing offline, you don't have to worry about using the patch at all. If you're playing co-op, I recommend using the patch and with friends only turned on unless you're playing in public matches in which case the best thing you can do is just have the patch turned on and anyone who is in your match who does want to grab your ip all they can do is grab your ip and i think they still can boot you off but if you are playing in a private match nobody will be able to touch you so with all that being said i hope you have a great rest of your day i'll see you all in the next one take care bye bye